What's up, everybody? Um, I have another, what's it called, um, review. This time it's more of a, uh, this format, where you don't see my face. Usually I do make reviews where I show my face, but whatever. It's for a movie that, um, I wasn't aware existed until, like, a few days ago. Um, I watched this movie, and people, I, you know, People, a lot of people seem to really like this movie. Um, I just don't... I feel like this movie had, like, potential to be a lot better than what it was. I'm not saying this movie's terrible. I'm not saying this movie um, is the worst thing I've ever seen. It's just... It's... I feel like... I remember halfway through um, thinking... Why does this need to be a musical? So yes, it is a musical. It's a comedy. It's it has dark humor, which I like. You know, I I mean, I watched Heather's. That's probably, you know, that's as, probably as dark, humorous, or as you know, like as dark as like a teenager movie, high school movie can get. Like a dark co comedy. I like dark comedies. Um, I'm gonna bring up Heather's again later um there were moments that made me chuckle um like i wrote down this line um where he said i'll be as popular as an ebola patient at a birthday party <laughs> that kind of made me chuckle a bit um i didn't really care for the character trinity who's like the main character she's kind of like the leader of i guess the i don't know the christian group she's like in a Christian folk band. Um, I'm just, so I'm going to read to you and I'm going to just discuss the things that I wrote down as I watched this movie. So one of the first things I wrote down was that there's an interesting opening. It was quick and it was fast paced. I like fast paced things um, except for only if it's not too fast because I watched something and I don't almost doesn't even deserve to be like mentioned that's how like bad it was where it was fast paced yet like I felt like they were just trying to cram a bunch of shit into like it's like cramming a bunch of like story and shit like 10 pounds of shit into like a two pound bag or whatever and you're just like okay this is too fast and this is too much but um no this I like it it was you know the, it was it just kind of threw you into the story of like, you know, our story doesn't really necessarily start here. This is just kind of context. And we're going to throw you into him, the emo kid, uh, his, whose name is, what was his fucking name? Ethan. <laughs> At his new school and his new situation. So I, you know, he just kind of goes and he has a suicide attempt and he's sent to a different school. Um, the singing isn't the best with the songs like they don't sing terribly they're just not the best singers so there's that um the second song was it kind of was, was pretty funny it was literally just called come to church with me um and you know these really passionate young uh christian folk band is trying to get literally trying to get people to go to church um it's it's pretty funny that they included a teacher that teaches literally like everything because of budget cuts. I thought that was kind of a funny bit of a gag. Like she just literally like shows up to all of Ethan's classes and she's just like teaching everything. So I thought that was kind of cute. It was like a nice little jab of like budget cuts and everything. Um, I literally wrote this down, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it more. I wrote down I don't understand why it had to be a musical. Um, most of the songs I, I, they're like, okay, they're okay. A couple of them I, I liked, but I didn't know why it had to be a musical. Um, I remember there was like a part where, um, and I think I know the exact part where I wrote this down. I think it was when, um, there was a bunch of scenes where there was like no music, like nobody singing to each other. And she pulls him in a closet like she's trying to hide him from her parents. Like, oh boy, I can't be caught in my bedroom. And um, then they start singing a song. 
and there wasn't very many songs either. It was like at that moment it might have felt like it forgot it was a musical. I was like, oh shit, we are a musical, so we'll like throw in a song right there, a very brief song. Um, I feel like it would have been better if it wasn't a musical because we already have two bands in the school and they would have played songs and I think that would have been just fine because there's a difference between a traditional musical and a film with music in it, you know, music film. For instance, I wouldn't consider burlesque a musical. I would consider it um, more of a film with musical numbers. Um, that just didn't really speak like a musical film to me. I just feel like it was a music film. So I feel like this would have done better if it was just a film with music in it. Um, uh, a funny song they have in there though was it was called was Jesus an emo I thought that was pretty funny um, it was weird because there was a weird scene I mean this is just me because I, I don't know if anybody else would have noticed it but like when you're a guitar player you just like I always like to I always notice whether they like mimed playing you know well or not so when he was playing electric it looked decent and then when he switched to playing an acoustic song it was weird it just didn't look like he was actually playing so I was like okay what's the difference between him playing the electric guitar him miming playing a fucking acoustic guitar made no sense um, um, I feel like the subplots were too much like they had like all these other subplots um, and the time they spent with the bla the with uh, the bass player subplot Roz, where she's like, "I want to like date you. We'll be an emo power couple," Ugh. and she's in his band. It was just it was too much. It was like you could have trimmed it significantly. Like it got its own music, its own song, and everything. Um, and the subplot with the kid who was like gay and he was like trying not to be, and he had you know a what's it called a he was doing shock therapy and I think it, they like overkilled his like he had like a travel like electro shock therapy which the first time fine but then like the second time you're just kind of like okay this is overkill like this is when you need to know when it's overkill with a joke like they used the shock thing in but I'm a cheerleader which I have watched and I have I did a commentary track for it and they did a, a couple of jokes with it, but they did a couple different things with it. Um, so the punchline was the taser, but they used it in different ways, and like it was actually funny both times, if that makes any sense. This time it was overkill. So the time spent with the subplots, you're just kind of like, okay, enough. Enough. Um, and it was weird so I don't know maybe I just didn't understand it but there was a part in the story where um, where uh, there's a there's a couple things that, that confused me one was uh, he goes on Facebook I think it was was it I can't remember his name but like he was in the Christian folk band and he was trying to like tear down Ethan and he basically went online and was like, does anybody know, and he was talking to kids that went to his former high school about a kid named Ethan. And then everyone's like, what do you want? This one girl's like, what do you want to know? And I'm like, oh yeah, because, you know, you can find out a lot of information based off of a kid by just only giving a first name. And by the way, I don't think we even learned this kid's last name. Does he have a last name? We will never fucking know. So... <laughs> yeah um that's kind of like a refrigerator question um you know where you where you kind of are thinking about it much later and I'm like and you're like wait that don't make no sense so anyways um that made no sense I'm like because Ethan is a rather common name I don't know about in Australia but like here in the states uh it's a pretty common name and then there's another thing where I thought his emo bandmates were gonna like turn 
against him after it was revealed that he faked his suicide attempt like it wasn't real and like because the 12 year old emos were like you're a poser whatever and like he so I was confused as to why maybe someone can explain it to me maybe they're like oh well duh, 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 I don't know um, and there was another gag that I really liked it was called it where it said um, the emergency baptism <laughs> and it was a truck I thought that was kind of funny. Um, the emergency baptism was pretty funny, where they really just like went over and they just like poured water. That's all, like, you know, holy water, whatever. So I do think this movie could have been funnier. I mean, I ha it had gags in it that I thought were funny. It had lines where I was like, okay, that's pretty freaking funny, and like songs where I laughed at it. But I feel like I don't watch it. A movie just to get like a couple of laughs I would like to watch more and it's just interesting like something about it I was just wondering like, I was like why did it have to be a musical like I had a lot of it had like brief songs and didn't even have a lot of songs and um, at times I feel like it forgot it was a musical and it could have just stuck with like the regular band performances. That's that's that was like half of the songs anyway that were, that were performed. So my point exactly with that. Um, I just was wondering like why did it have to be one? Because usually in like musicals, they're like there's like sure there's some like dialogue and regular like narrative storytelling, and they do a dance, a, you know, a number, but it just it didn't really have that um and then you go to the other slant of like people are taking straight narratives non-musical or non you know just regular narrative movies like legally blonde and heathers and heathers was turned into a musical and it it works it's beautiful so um yeah i mean i don't i i laughed at it at, at points it's just, I don't know, it didn't really, um, it's not a perfect movie, which, I mean, there's not really many near perfect movies or, in my eyes, perfect movies, but, like, it just, it wasn't, I felt like I, I, it was lacking in something. I think I needed more, but that's just my opinion. Tell me what you thought about this movie, um, if you've seen it. It's on Netflix, it's streaming. You can watch it right now. Let me know what you think. I will see you guys in the next review.